As Withers with Ace King. Just limps. Me, and Easton limps with Aces. Leonard limps. Atlani limps. Tony G limps. Greg Raymer limps with 10-3. It's a family pot. We've got eight white action. Hello, everyone. It's James Hartigan with Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. And we are very excited because we are about to go to Monaco for the PokerStars EPT presented by Monte Carlo Casino. It's been a while. Uh, and Joe, over near enough two decades, there have been some fun moments, some great things that have happened at EPT Monte Carlo. And I figured ahead of this year's event, we could pick two of our personal favorites. So we've got a fun one and a serious one. You picked the serious one. I did? Yeah. Okay, yes. No, I did. You know why? Because Monte Carlo is the place for competition. We've had some insanely good final tables and some very dramatic winning moments. Mine is from 2013 with one of the most dramatic river cards we've ever seen. I'm not going to spoil it any further. Standard button raise. Huntley has King-5 suited in the big blind. Suited King is a very easy defend and will be good at showdown often enough. Huntley calls. All about the post-flop play, heads up. Well, let's see the flop. Wow, action guaranteed. Trips for O'Dwyer. The second nut flush draw for Pantling. Pantling checks. I think Steve has got to bet here to try to build a pot. There are lots of bad turn cards, not just for Steve, but ones that could be bad for Andrew too and therefore kill his action. O'Dwyer does continue for 300,000. Pantling obviously can't fold the draw this huge. He calls. The turn card. Okay. It's a spade! It's the flush for Pantling! Check. He checks again. Unfortunately for Steve, he cannot slow down here because a flush is just so unlikely. Worst part is, if Pantling decides to raise a bet here, I don't think Steve can fold. This is a spade to dig Andrew Pantling out of his hole and possibly a grave for Steve O'Dwyer. 600,000 is the bet on the turn. Does Andrew go for the raise now? Signs point to yes. That is 1.425 million. Like I said, I don't think Steve can fold. He's beating a lot of other eights. He's beating all semi-bluffs. And when he's up against a flush, like now, he's got equity to boat up. Still, he is behind. How much do you have left in green? Can you cut those out? Pantling has three and a half million behind. The only question is, does Steve call and reevaluate or just go for the gusto here? Guess the good news for him either way is he can't go broke. Pantling is praying that Steve lumps it in. I'm all in. O'Dwyer shoves! And Pantling calls! Eight. Down, please, gentlemen. Is that a flush? It is a flush. And Pantling will double up unless there is a jack 10, 8, or 4 on the river. 10 outs for O'Dwyer, which would see him win the title. But there's a 77% chance that Pantling doubles up and we play on. It's an ace on the river! It's quads for Edwire! The see him triumph here in Monaco and win the EPT9 Grand Final main event! What a way to win the EPT Grand Final with quads! I'm going to turn back the clock even further to the first ever EPT Grand Final in Monte Carlo in 2005. Now, Joe, you and I recently revisited this event when we did our EPT retro streams. So this is us looking back at poker from 15 years ago with the company of Spraggy, and I think we were all a little bit shocked at how maybe the game has changed and how we were seeing stuff that you wouldn't see nowadays. As Withers oh boy. is having a lovely day with Ace King, <laughs> but just limps. Me, baby. And Easton limps with Aces. <laughs> Leonard limps with Jack-10. You guys, this is the grand final. <laughs> Atlani limps with 8 Sorry. 3. Tony G limps with Queen 9. Greg's going to attack us now. Never seen anything. Greg Raymer. You know why, James? 
Zero. I was just, ho I was just hoping. They all the think race. they're much better post flop players. Greg Raymond limps with 10 3. Valo limps with 9 deuce. And the graphics are getting smaller and smaller as we try to fit every player at this table on the screen. And Kavelnikov oh checks his option. It's a family pot. We've got eight white action. And don't ask me who's got what. Uh, I, th I think I like eight three of clubs here. Although nine deuce of clubs is... Okay, so a couple of people got top pair. 10-3, jack-10. Ace is still in. Two flush draws. <laughs> Unbelievably, eight people to a flop, but about five of them have something. <laughs> don't, don't forget the backdoor flush draw for Withers Easton. <laughs> Tony G frustratingly folds queen deuce. Okay, so just eight to be ways. clear. Easton bet for 200. Leonard raised to 400. Raymer has called, Valo has called, Easton has called, four way to the turn, deuce of spades. Oh, please tell me the 10 tray of spades is what gets there. So somehow Ace is still ahead despite letting seven other opponents see a flop. <laughs> three of them see a turn. I think it's Easton who's bet here. Yeah, 500, and Ken Leonard has called. Greg Raymer calls. What's that all about? This is scary. Valo calls as well. So still four players as we go to the river, which is the six of spades, which means Greg Raymer gets there. Martin Skill uh, game. Hey, at least poker was always fun. Okay, Easton's still betting. Leonard's still calling. I just want to remind everyone, this is the grand final. It's only a 10,000 euro buy-in as Greg Raymer moves all in for around 6K. Chris if this gets called by a worse hand, I'm working on a time machine. <laughs> Doesn't. The other three players fold, and Greg Raymo will add a decent percentage to his stack. Even got up for that. Of course, we're going to see a much better standard of poker, I'd imagine, when we stream this year's EPT Monte Carlo, and I guess that's what we should highlight now. Five consecutive days of live streaming from this year's Monte Carlo EPT. It all kicks off on Tuesday, May 3rd with the final table of the 100K Super High Roller. We're going to follow that with four consecutive days of coverage of the main event, concluding with the final table of that one on Saturday, May 7th. So join us here on the PokerStars YouTube channel. And as ever, don't forget to like and subscribe.